back with another round here on GK Pro. We are at the cancerplaybook.org open, powered by Prodigy, brought to you guys by GK Pro. In the booth, Luke Humphreys, joined by tall Paul Omen. Enjoyed your coverage in New Zealand. Paul, back in the booth with you again, man. This is going to be fun. Happy to be back. We've got a uh, pretty wooded track here, playing hard, some Texas wind going to be at play today. Oh yeah, some tight OB, the wind is up, but the sun is out. And this is one of the best B-tier fields you are ever going to see. we got Nicholas Antela out of Finland, his buddy Jesse Nieminen, Benjamin Calloway, and James Conrad. Top tier talent at just a B-tier here. we got a lot of added cash thanks to Jim over at the Eric Foundation who's also working with the Cancer Playbook Foundation. Really just helping us out and helping these pros out. Starting with a hard one. Yeah, definitely. At 441, got some nice guardian trees blocking the basket. Good pump to get your day started here. Yeah, I see the best drives low right, kind of skipping through the trees. Yeah, a lot of ground action here. The grass has been mowed freshly and getting some good release here. Not bad over there. You get any further left and short, though, and it creates a really hard up and down. Nicholas, one of the smoothest throwers in the world, sneaky power. He's the only person in the field to birdie hole nine that crossed the canyon at the chess.com all three rounds. Wow. People don't think of him as a pure power thrower, but he's got everything it takes. We had a nice wind here on hole one today for it to attack. Doesn't get much better. Left to right tail. Now this guy is a forehand specialist. But his backhand is looking really nice these days, too. A lot of guys going low, but both Europeans going high. Oh, look at this. Wow. That's the closest I've seen. Yeah, I like the high play. You could drop it right on it. The wind was perfect, like we said. So I saw some low shots, but I think this high play was kind of preferred. Ben Calloway. It looks like he throws about 65-70% and it comes out as hot as anybody on tour. Yeah, what did he catch there? It was the t the tallest point of the highest tree. It's a terrible reaction. There's no way to really give that a bid. Tailwind doesn't let it get back right on that Anheuser. just kind of blows it into that branch. That just pushes it straight forward into the branch. James kind of scoots through there. Gonna have a headwind comebacker. That's not what you want on one. No, he was trying to get aggressive early. I like it. Mm -hmm. Good bit from the knee. Dude, Nicholas can hit him from anywhere. All right, to make sure he doesn't bogey one. Gotta love the bid though. Put it up in the tailwind. Yeah. Expecting a drop. Strong, confident bid. Yeah. Oh, no. That's gonna be a bogey for the 2021 world champ. To start his round, we'll be losing two to that man right there. Yes, is definitely the name on this card that people probably are least familiar with, but he has so much game. Can't wait for you guys to watch what he can do with the disc. It's really incredible. Yeah, 2000, was, go ahead. No, I was checking it out and at thechess.com. I saw that Niklas and Yesse tied for ninth and Ben and James tied for 52nd. I thought that was kind of an interesting pairing here for the first <laughs> yeah. round. I don't know yeah. if that was intentional. Not at all. That's just completely random. But yeah, Nicholas and uh, Yesse tying for high European at the chess.com. It's a pretty big deal to them. Yeah. Great start to the season. Yeah. Hole two is a fantastic golf hole. 634. But the most important thing is to land in the fairway. There's a little road that runs straight down the hole. If you can be on that road. This is a forehand. Interesting. Yeah, my first thought as well. 
Yeah. It's not the game plan that I just laid out. And that result is terrible. Maybe he's trying to get a little more aggressive than we think, you know? There's a possibility. Just a little angle on that. You can slide down that, past that landing zone. I feel like it's just a putter. You bleed it right in front of that cedar. Yeah. That you can see right there. Lined you up great for the second shot. That is everything you need right there. That was 325 down the middle. He'll have 310 into the basket. This whole set's up really good for James. Yeah. Oh my goodness, though. That tailwind dropped it out. Yeah, I think Killed he's still it. in a position. He's he's in the middle of the fairway. He's got a little more than the Niklas, but yeah, he's just got to throw under that cedar on the second. It'll be the low ceiling that Ben just going rip. Looks like he came over the top just a bit and flattened it more than he wanted to. Hmm. May have got some good D out of it. We're going to have to see about that one. All right, so James, he's looking at 350, 360. Low ceiling. Yeah. But the ground play is nice if he can get this thing skidding. Just like that. I'm an outside circle bid. Yeah. Most likely a par, but no damage done. All right. See if this kid can show us something smooth. I say kid. Left a little oh. angle on it. Yeah. Oh, great slide. Gosh, of course, he's he's a man, but I think of him as a kid. Just a youngster enjoying the game out here, throwing golf shots. Yes, a nothing but pitching backwards back out into the fairway. It's a terrible lie there. He was not sure that he could get into it, actually. Yeah, like you said, this is a, a golf hole at 634. It's a fairly sharp, a short par four. So I feel like you just kind of do what the designers want you to do and just throw a couple 300 foot shots, give yourself a putt. Yeah, it's a berg from USA coming up a little short. Didn't really get the slide. All right, Ben playing that bomb and scramble approach. I think he was trying to play down that left fairway, kind of kick towards another basket. Maybe still in a tricky position. Somewhere around 40 feet for the par. Just fighting this Texas terrain. Man, it can get nasty out here. When people talk about rough in other states, it really doesn't compare, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That North Carolina rough really just has no teeth comparatively. I think I, I need to just mention Bella Rocca's rough. I mean, Ooh, yeah. over in New Zealand, that was some pretty wild rough. That is nasty, too. Man, beautiful bid, confident, kind of like Ben on hole one. You don't want to change that much. After, the stroke was nice. It was dead center. Just a little high. Great birdie on one, two. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Hate to give one back, especially on a bonus like a one. Yeah. All right, Ben for bogey. Oh, that's going to be an unfortunate double. Worth noting at this point that Ben's dealing with a flu. Kind of minimized his practice abilities here this week, so didn't have a ton of time to game plan here. And you can tell he's just not feeling his best. That sun came out today, too. It was yep. it was beaming. Yep. Yeah, we went through a couple cold days, but it was worth it. We held out. Now we got these 80-degree sunny days to play golf in. It's, it's great weather here in Texas. Yeah, I was stoked to have shorts on today. Headed into a fantastic hole. Only 324, but you're going to need to throw a 350 shot to get it to the bucket. Slightly uphill the whole way, plus low ceiling. Kind of makes it play a little longer. Yeah, you have got to get off the tee here. I think ideally you kind of force one over, get it moving left to right a little bit out of the hand. Gap's not big, but it is fair. And that thing just needed to break over another foot. Yeah, it looked like he was throwing somewhat of a neutral disc. He didn't try and throw it on too much of an Anheuser angle. 
Maybe waiting for it to flip a little more. James is gonna torque this thing over. That's how you do it. Going long of the hole. Yeah. You don't see many people do that. He did pull the fairway driver, which I love. Yeah, I like that. Throwing something a little more overstable, getting it on that Anheuser angle, and you can control the height of the disc better. It's not going to lift up as it's... If you're throwing an understable disc, you know, on a Heiser, it's not going to lift up at all. You can control that angle just punching it down into the line. Ben just a little out of sorts, not feeling his body exactly. Happens when you, when you get sick, lose a few pounds. Yeah. In this course, like I said, you have got to get off the tee or you're, you've got a lot of distance to make up to say par. A lot of trees in the way, just a little offline. Yeah. More yeah. work than you want. This is a bad course to be playing if you're feeling bad. Dang, looks like he slipped at the last second right there. I love how this course, on the when you're standing on the tee and you're looking at your line, it just looks like a flat fairway up to the basket. And as you get to walking down the fairway towards your shot, you start to see these undulations and things in the fairway and get some funky ground plays halfway up the, halfway up the hole. A lot of the greens are perched on some funky little undulations. They really used them well out here. There we go. Thanks. James. Making good on that beautiful drive. Getting himself back to even par. Love to see it. I also love watching Nicholas around the greens. He's got a great spin put that he uses from outside about 25 feet, but from inside that distance, he's got a very still minimized uh, leg work, just a pitch putt. Yeah, Gets very, up there front, leaves his balance on his front foot. And very methodical. Doesn't miss many of those. Unfortunate double for Ben. You can tell he's just not feeling his best. Headed into the fifth. Man, this is a tricky little Texas hard pan skip hole right here. You're looking to skip about where the drone's flying right now. Easy to push long, miss that gap. And it's also easy to give yourself a 30 footer that you turn into another 30 footer. This oh, is yeah. a treacherous green, lots of trees in the circle. This is the first hole that I noticed. It's just got an awesome green. It's, it's kind of funky, you have to play a higher shot than you think to get the good no. skip. James gets all the skip. Good grief, didn't hit a single thing. Back behind the green, another spot you don't really see people. He'll have a putt though, about circle's edge it looked like. This is what it looks like when you do it right. Oh. I jinxed him. No. Looks so great, if that skips properly, He's right there by the basket. It's really a speed control hole. Yep. See, this is low. Oh, he gets a good skip. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Just <laughs> beautiful. Huge skip. Yeah. Kind of hit the down slope on one of those hills, maybe. Just match that angle. Oh, look at Ben going backside on that tree. Love that. A little wide, but controlled the speed well. Came right in front of that back wall of trees. Smart play from Niklas. Yeah, you just can't run that one as much as you want to. Fifth hole, first round, it's not that time. Yeah. Wow, James, just 40 feet, but not much left. Unable to get that a true bid. There you see it. 30 footer to 30 footer. Come on. Golly, this guy can't catch a break right now. I think that first one was just too close. He knew he couldn't lay it up. You gotta come yeah. into oh, it. Oh, you have to. You have to. You gotta say with another great birdie. Seriously. He's got all these backhand birdies too. 
I know Yesse is the guy that aced hole 15 at the European Open. Uh, excuse me, 14 back in the day with the lead card going. Shot the hot round first round. He's, he's well known in Europe. We have yet to see him as much here in the States, but I'm really excited to be showcasing his talent here. Nice. Here we go. This is one of my favorites. Hole six. You got to play it out into the open. And you've got some OB around this green. It's a true two shot hole. Good line, a little high though. Really wanting to play the ground out here, I feel like. Yeah, he doesn't have any trees in front of him. If he's not too close to those ones beside him, he'll have an opportunity out of there. Got the distance. And James, this is really all you need. Just a smooth putter. Oh, dang. Last one to beat, but. Kicks him behind a tree too. I think he might still have an angle as long as he's not too tight on it. It's a little wide. Usually a very sharp player. One of the most consistent guys in disc golf right now. Nicholas just a little loose with that one. Come on. That's the one. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. I was gonna note his play. It looked like he was throwing a little faster disc, Ben. It looked like he maybe maybe talked up to a fairway or something like that where Niklas and Ben were both throwing a little bit slower of a disc, just trying to punch out, but that fairway play, you can get that OB on the left, drift it on a hyzer a bit, yeah. get out of control. Nicholas unable to get out of the, f the woods, the forest on his second, so he'll be there on his third, looking like a bogey. Yeah. Dude, Ben, this is such a terrible lie for mostly pure shot. What a kick off that tree. Dude, the last one. They can't give our dude one break. Yeah. That's what that fairy will get you, though. A little faster disc and get you a bigger kick. Sometimes that's all you need just to get a round going, though, you know? Just one break, poking out into the fairway one time. Slide James Conrad. James. Wasn't sure if he was going to be able to get that move on the disc, but he had plenty. Nah, that's just a layup there from Yese. In a weird spot, so we're probably taking a bogey here, and we've only got one birdie putt from James. It's a very typical play from people going high over that tree, but Ben not getting the distance right, leaving himself in circle two. Yesse, last time he missed one of these shots was a long time ago. <laughs> wow, dialed. He doesn't mess around. Wide open forehand up shots, less than 10 feet. Looks like stable putter from Nicholas. Not as handy as Yesse, but still very good. See if Ben can grab this par. This would be a big one. Great Come on. putt. Come on. Let's get things rolling here, Ben. Just got to see one go in. He's walking like he's hurting, man. There's our man with the birdie. Here we go. Looks look like he just picked up his disc from the the drive and threw it into the green you see that little pitch putt staying up front on that leg beautiful work he just got his body pointed at the basket if you're watching at home you're having trouble with those short ones definitely take a page out of Nicholas's book at least try it go stand there and pitch putt him in there Stay simple with it. Minimize all of the body movements. That's what he's looking to do here. Short par four, hole seven. It's only 446 feet, but man, is it technical, Paul. Oh yeah, even I'm throwing a forehand on this one. Got to get that disc moving left to right. I like the mid play as well for the backhand players. Yeah, 
problem with the mid though is it's it's almost a little fast you get to the back side of that fairway a little quick it's really like a 220 230 foot shot most people have trouble toning down oh no hurry this turnover shot too you gotta kind of start it wide james tested that left side a little bit more than he wanted to makes sense that we're going to see a forehand from yesa this looks good yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Very tight. Lots of hyzer. <laughs> and he's done it perfectly, and he's left with a, a pretty tricky approach. Yeah. There's a very specific spot to land on this hole. You get a little long, and you got to scramble more than you'd like. You hyzer off too early, and... <sighs> that was just a little deep. Catches a kick. Goes even deeper. Like you said... It's a great forehand play. Just get that disc diving back down into the fairway. We got two forehands that ended up very good, two backhands in pretty poor situations. Yeah. It's a lot more work for the backhand turnover. God. Seemed like a good approach from James. Yeah. Just getting up there, trying to grab a par. Kind of misreleased it looked like going yeah. back to the same disc a lot of trees in ben's way there big time man squeaky little forehand he was trying to throw there a lot of hyzer on it Kind of set you up with this right side, left side. This approach, I think there's no way to get it absolutely parked. Good job. <laughs> okay, that's really good. It's not absolutely parked, though. And, and my point is, most of the time on this hole, a good putt is needed to secure the bird. Yeah. That OB is lurking just behind the basket. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Three forehands from Nicholas there. Grabbing the par with that one. And if Ben can get close to the basket, man, now he's looking at another double if he can't make that putt. These little stragglers here, little twizzlers. Come on. Mm, he knew it. A little short. Not bad, though. It's a tricky hole. For a par four that's only 446, you'd think that you really want to get the birdie, but... This course may not be the longest, but it's got some, some subtle nuances. You've got to play some golf. Some good landing zones. You yeah. Know. Great birdie from Yesay there, getting himself to two under. Headed into another short par four. The eighth unfortunate double for Ben. Just 453. And this is definitely the choice fairway here that you want to fly down. Keeps on moving right though. So those backhands, they almost can't flex out. You got to hit something slightly understable, kind of flat, and then just let it tr drift the whole way. Yeah, you don't want to put it up too high either. No. Now that's, uh, that's something in Texas a lot of places when you give it the height that tree kick just it gives you more options to go crazy places and yes a oh, perfect spot to be yeah getting that kick back to the middle is so bonus all right james got that blue and yellow killer fellow out come on oh my goodness oh he dimed it down the middle Dude, maybe, he's, got, he's got this one dialed. Maybe you do want to throw it up high like James. <laughs> Just let it fly. I mean, throw it like James. That's the sentence. Dang, Nicholas. Oh. Just a little tighter than James, but look at that kick. That'll give him an option. It's not going to be easy from there, but... He 
just a little early from Ben. I, I love watching Ben throw these type of shots, though. Good backhand turnover shots. He's one of the best in the game at it. He's got a great backhand. Look at that thing, man. Wow. All the way back in play, though. Yeah. He had He's, a lot left. Yeah, he really did. He's got a par if he wants it. Long birdie look if he wants that. Just leaning into it a little bit more than he wanted to. <laughs> Dude, yes, he's not messing this up. Good grief. That's such a good drive. Yeah. A nice kick back to the middle. So if he had that, James got even better. I wonder how much James wants this. I think. Just that birdie. Yeah. He needs no trouble there. Mm -mm. Good little kiss. Yeah, a little loose there from Nicholas. He's going to have 28 feet left. Save that par. This would be a long birdie. Those trees, gusty little green. There's that pitch butt again. I love it, man. No nose down. Big fan. Yeah. So cool to have Nicholas here on GK Pro coverage. Yeah, you wrangled up the homies for this one. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and it's fun to, to have the support of the guys, especially the support of uh, the cancerplaybook.org uh, team, you know. To be able to have 7,500 bucks thrown down on a B tier here, and GK Pro filming it, couple skins matches going on, man, it's just awesome to have Texas support. Yeah, good disc golfing this way. It really is good timing in between Florida and Waco, perfectly less than two hours away from Waco, as we sit right here, headed into 8A, which I made a little tighter for this tournament. Dude, Typically, dog. it's the uh, railroad ties you can see there, but. We went ahead and just made it the circle's edge for this thing. It's only 231 feet, so it should be an easy birdie, but danger lurks. We've been in the woods for the last several holes, and now we're exposed. Oh, oh my goodness, no. that was out of bounds. There was just a tiny area of grass that we really thought it was just a little muddy, and so we made the line there. Oh, look at this. Keep turning. Oh, <laughs> off the pin, <laughs> James Conrad. Oh, yeah, let's get Bob's view. Look at the late flip. No fear. Look at the late flip. Oh, my oh. gosh, across the basket. Unbelievable. One of the best to ever do it. Literally a throw-in artist. Just full commitment. This is the shot I envisioned. I love a that. A low forehand. Works perfect for that headwind that we're experiencing today. There we go, Ben. All right. Yeah. Got himself a birdie putt. That's a pretty tricky drop zone that I gave people. I didn't want anybody to have the chance to, to really have an easy par. You know, I thought if it was 40 feet, there's a lot of good putters here. Yeah. That's a tricky, tricky It's only 231 right feet. If you don't make the island, you get a bogey. Absolutely. That's how we're playing this one. The freebies here. Ben, unfortunate. You had a better angle than yes hey, here. This is sick putt for bogey right there. Stone cold. Dude, anytime you're hitting a 30-footer for your bogey, you're keeping your round moving. Water behind the basket, elevated. Yeah, yeah it feels bad. Wind. But at the end of the day, you're not going to throw them all right. No. Just chalk it up to the bad shot you're throwing this round. If you minimize it to one or two or three bad ones, it's not really that bad of a round. Definitely. This is one that, like, it just made you want to pin it, but you, you got to remember, like, to miss long here. I mean, don't miss, but 
definitely get it there. Yeah, there's almost no room for error in front of that green. Headed into hole nine, definitely one of the trickiest holes on this course. OB playing down the entire right side. If you execute the drive perfectly, you land about here. Leave yourself 225 feet of tricky trees everywhere. Should be able to get yourself a putt if you're good at scrambling though. This is really just a scramble hole. I thought this was gonna play as the hardest hole of the day, but it did. No, one of had, the hardest holes. Yeah, though. one of them. We had a couple hard holes out here. Some tight fairways out here. This is a way to get yourself a perfect drive right here. Kind of squeaking through that left side, but biting off the corner. That was pretty impressive. Slicing and dicing there. Oh, no. No. That's the kick you can't have, man. But I didn't see the OB graphic pop up, so maybe there was a second kick right there. Interesting. That's the Ben Callaway we know and love. Ooh. Just a dime. Getting a nice little kick there at the end. Beautiful. Dude. When Ben does it right, it's as pretty as anybody. Yes, a Disking down. Really just throwing kind of a stable putter down the fairway there. Interesting. I like it. I like it. Okay, so he's inbounds. Not much left there, though. Forehand roller. Obvious frustrations. Yeah, you don't really need to know where to go at that point because yeah, yeah. there's not like a really specific landing zone. You're going to have to scramble yeah. for that next shot anyway, so yep. Yep. you might as well. Yeah, back to back, back to back forehand rollers from Nicholas there. Yes, say proven there yeah, is fine. indeed a line if you want to. <laughs> Look what he just did there. Broke it down. Bless you, by the Thank way. Thank you. Wow. All of a sudden. Forehand putter, forehand putter on a right to left dog leg. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh the ground play. Sick Love shot it. from Conrad. Getting himself a look. And Ben is way up here. Man, turns that stable putter forehand over, but ends up 36 feet. No matter what, you're scrambling on that second shot. Like, you have to just make something work. Nicholas for par from deep. Crazy to watch all of these putts come in and almost pick up speed when they hit the ground to give yourself an 18-footer instead of that 12-footer. Yeah. Just so much stress on all these putts. Beautiful birdie Ooh. from Ben Calloway. Can we officially say he's arrived? That's the stroke right there. No wobble. Oh my gosh, no Fart. wobble, dead center. He's definitely impressive when he does it right. He's got his samurai look on today too. Yeah. This is a premium birdie right here. You did some work to get to this spot. You gotta make that putt. There's two of them right there. Make that three birdies on hole nine. That's impressive. That's sick right there, man. Couldn't have been that many birdies on the hole. Just 11 of them. Good counting. You saw three right there. Oh, you saw three bogey strokes for Nicholas. Yeah. There's that front nine for you guys right there. James Conrad, the bogey to start, but picking up the pace after that. Four under now, just catching fire with a turkey there on seven, eight, nine. Yes, a not far behind. And just not a normal round from Nicholas. Nah. This is not the Nicholas we've seen. Yeah. And know that it exists, cool. man. Oh, yeah. Checking out the leaderboard, though. Gavin Rathbun going out early. Posting a score unofficially 1060 something what? at seven under. James Conrad, though, on great pace. Zane Letts, DFW local, great player right there in the mix, as well as Vino Macla, Freddie Mesa, course record holder, Freddie Mesa. Yeah. 
anything can happen. It's a sweet back nine we got coming up for you guys. Definitely come check us out. Much more action to come. For Tall Paul Omen, I'm Luke Humphreys. Appreciate you guys being with us here on GK Pro. Catch you on that back nine.